This is the place, Todd, where the supporters always gather as that presidential, former presidential motorcade goes by. Plenty of enthusiasm here as they watch Mr. Trump's limo go by this morning. And his supporters tell me that they believe that Trump is being unfairly prosecuted and they are firmly behind him. Several hundred of those supporters, people lined the sidewalks for hours before the scheduled motorcade driveway. Some coming from out of state and all over Florida here to show their support just as his base has all through his campaign and time as president. Now the former president is facing an unprecedented legal challenge on his way to New York to be arraigned on two dozen unspecified criminal charges. Some of his base predicts that this move, while very serious, has put Mr. Trump in the spotlight as he seeks the 2024 presidency and will actually end up helping him. Keep in mind the independence. That is what I'm focused on for the past three weeks. And you're looking at about 70% of the independence right now. Let's say, and this is unfair. We're gonna go with Trump. We're gonna support Trump because of what's going on. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, independent, this is unfair. This historic moment has galvanized Trump supporters more than ever before. His campaign announcing Friday it received $4 million in donations in the first 24 hours after the indictment was made public. That figure now reportedly up to $7 million. Many of those first time donors. The campaign saying this shattered the previous donation record made when the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago. Again, a historic never before moment in the history of American presidency. And of course, it remains to be seen whether this indictment and possible resulting prosecution will actually help uh, Mr. Trump and his motorcade will once again be passing right by here on Southern Boulevard back home to Mar-a-Lago tomorrow night where that news conference rally is expected to take place.